Welcome back everyone to the Hello World Sky. This is another episode of the Afterwards Gaming C++ series. And in this video, I, as I said in the previous video, I was originally going to get started with the uh, system of uh, having our uh, bullets, uh, our bullets, uh, co our bullets are colliding with asteroids. So now we need to make our asteroids collide with the player and other asteroids. In other words, we need to do polygon with polygon collision. Now that is a bit of an intricate topic. So I decided that we will first of all do something simpler, uh, for which I decided we will implement sounds in this video. Now implementing sounds in SFML is very easy and very simple. Uh, I have got a sound uh, file called shoot.wav in my um, you know project folder uh, which I which we are going to load and then uh, display whenever uh, not display play whenever the uh, you know player shoots a bullet. So for this we are going to first of all include the SFML slash audio.hpp header. Uh, which will contain all the audio modules and in here we'll create an SF sound called shoot sound and we'll also create an SF sound buffer called shoot sound buffer uh, the reason for this is that this buffer will actually store the sound uh, you know it will load the sound from the file while this is um, this sound it will actually be a uh, like a, a thing that will display it in the environment now in player.cpp we'll go here and we'll uh, go down here where we are having our key where we are you know shooting the bullet and in here we are going to say shoot sound dot play so simply uh, as simple as that this will play the shoot sound correctly now we'll go back up here and uh, we'll create a shoot sound uh, we'll say basically say shoot sound dot set buffer and we'll set it buffer equal to our shoot sound buffer so uh, it can read from that buffer of course our buffer is currently empty for which we'll need to load it from a file uh, using the load from file method and provide it with a, a file name which is which we're going to say, say shoot.wav here now let's run that and uh, now if I actually start uh, shooting what you should see is that our system for shooting is working quite well and uh, uh, the sounds are playing correctly so you can see that uh, it's working quite nicely and the sound does play when we shoot the bullets now a little problem we have with this is that uh, it might work kind of to have the sound buffer in the player but it won't exactly work correctly because uh, if, you know if we have a sound buffer in the bullet it will try to load the sound buffer for each bullet even though the sound buffer should only be loaded once for this reason we are going to make the sound buffer something inside of the game and uh, only have sounds inside of the actual entity classes so for this reason what I will do is I will go under game.h and in here I am going to create a static and we will create actually uh, we will not create like a simple uh, thing here for the mm, you know uh, not create individual variable instead we will create an unordered map uh, this unordered map will represent uh, a bunch of sounds so we will create an uh, unordered map here of sound so let's do that static uh, std colon colon unordered map and this will uh, basically allow us to map uh, it using strings instead of integer indices which will make it a lot more uh, easy to understand so we will have string on one side and on the other we will just put in uh, for example let's put in mm, uh, sound buffer sf colon colon sound buffer uh, like that and uh, after we have done that let's go ahead and close it and create and name it as uh, sound buffers uh, because that's uh, because it's storing a bunch of sound buffers so we we'll should probably store it as that and we are going to ensure that we uh, actually uh, we don't need to include it in bullet yet actually we do need to include in bullet as well because we are going to implement a hit sound effect here but I'm going to include it inside of game dot uh, as well and we'll have this sound buffers uh, thing here now uh, what we want to do is uh, when we begin we want to load this sound buffer with a bunch of different things so we'll go ahead and say sound buffers uh, dot uh, well we can we can actually put it directly here by saying sound buffers and we'll say uh, for example uh, you know shoot we'll say sound buffers shoot is equal to we can just say uh, sf colon colon sound buffer and uh, uh, like that uh, you might want to say sf colon colon sound buffer and do it like this but it's um, there is an even more concise way to do it at which is just call the uh, dot load from file method directly on the sound buffer and just provide the file name correctly so we'll say shoot dot wave here and uh, afterwards we can use this inside of player.cpp so instead of saying this we can just say resources uh, uh, not actually resources sorry game uh, colon colon sound buffers 
uh, we're well actually we made it private we need to make it public so let's go here and uh, move it up here so that it's public now and let's save that and go under player.cpp and now we can say game colon colon sound buffers and we can access it by s just using like the array index operator with shoot here all right that's pretty awesome so with that we have got this working and we don't need to store a player version of the sound buffer anymore uh, that's not needed now uh, we have got everything we need here of course the only thing that's left is that uh, we actually need to copy this from here and make sure that we also declare it inside of our mm, you know uh, C++ file because if you don't do that it won't work correctly so we'll just need to declare it as game colon colon whatever we have got here alright now let's go ahead and run that and what you should see is that uh, now uh, our sound works just like it did before so if I run this uh, you can see that uh, I can press my space key and the bullet shoot along with the correct sound so that is working correctly Alright guys, this is pretty much it for this video and I'll see you in the next one in which uh, uh, we'll start doing the actual algorithm for, you know, uh, intersecting polygons with polygons and a bit of a challenge to you is to try to implement uh, uh, the hit sound effect by yourself so that you can uh, implement it inside the bullet so that when the bullet hits the asteroid there, uh, you know, a sound plays. So try to implement that on your own. I'll see you in the next one in which we'll implement the polygon intersection algorithm. So yeah, stay tuned for that and make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss that one and i'll see you in the next one and bye